Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing. Today we're going to be doing the Persona 4 Dancing All Night Disco Fever Edition for the PlayStation Vita. Um, this released alongside Persona 4 Dancing All Night back in its original release, which was a Vita exclusive. So here is a quick look of the box. We have the same front and the same back on either side, and it's you and Rise on this like little turntable type of thing. Disco fever's written all over it. Now this has been opened and used, so things will just kind of be thrown about. So got this little slip in there that held everything down. First thing that catches my eye is this little Teddy keychain. And on the back, it says Atlas, all rights reserved. Uh, Persona is a registered trademark. Atlas, blah, 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 blah. So, cool little keychain of Teddy. It's got some heft to it, too. It's not just, uh, I don't know, it's not plastic or anything. It feels like it's actual metal. So, that's cool. We have the game, of course, which got ripped off. It's not in there. That's because it's already in my Vita case. Um,. Tune in, turn on, and get down. This is an official story sequel to Persona 4 Golden. Um, if you've played Persona 4 Golden and beaten it and you want more of the characters in the story, believe it or not, the dancing rhythm game is canon. And it does go in more depth about the world and the characters. Um, this has been ported to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 in some way i think i don't know if it's on anything else but it's definitely on ps4 uh so give it a check out there we have some teddy stickers who was the mascot of persona until persona 5 and morgana took that over let's kind of set all this out like this we have a playstation vita skin um this is a sticker that you can take it off and put it onto your playstation vita apply it and then um you also have this wallpapers that you can download. I didn't need to do this because I actually got the Dancing Vita edition, so it came with those wallpapers. But if you're interested, you can see if this URL still works. Um, it's hard to believe that this game came out... Man, when did this game come out? It came out a while ago. Um, it's one of those things where it feels like this is still kind of new, but it's not. The Persona 4 Dancing All Night original soundtrack also comes with it. Makes sense to include the soundtrack to a rhythm dancing game. So we have these nice stylized kind of disco ball CDs. The track list is over here. And then for the second side, we have the part two track list. I love the um, rainbow aesthetic that they brought from Persona 4, but then they added the purple for the dancing and it goes very well with it together. Um, of course, I love just about everything from Persona 4, so of course I'd love that, but... And there's the back, we have you, and then the silhouettes of Nanako, Naoto, uh, I think that's, um, Konami, and then Risa. Konami, Konami being one of the new characters. And then it came with this bag. Um, again, there's Teddy, and we have the... Dancing all night, where it's all around this. A lot of uh, kind of 80s stylized colors and lines. And then on the back, it's black, but with the Persona 4 Dancing logo that you can actually feel as texture. And then in here, there are like individual slots, so you could like put your beta in one side and then games or whatever in the other. And then we have this little zipper tag that's made of, made of metal. That's pretty cool and plastic on the top. And just zips up like that. So yeah, there's the Persona 4 Dancing All Night Disco Fever Edition. Um, it's really cool unboxing this again because these things go in the boxes and they sit on the shelves because I'm, I don't have room for them right now to display any of them. So it is like rediscovering all this stuff and being like, oh yeah, this has a keychain and a bag and stickers if you care about that. <laughs> um... Uh, if you're interested in this, go ahead and check it out on Amazon or eBay. 
the retail for it is not that expensive. This game, like I said, has been ported to modern consoles, at least a playable modern console with the PlayStation 4 being backwards compatible. Um, definitely check it out if you've played Persona 4 Golden and if you're a Persona fan. I think it's good. The rhythm game's not that hard and you do get a pretty decent and sizable um, story out of it. So like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.